Hey guys, how's it going? It's Minecralix here, and today I'm starting another Let's Play series. This time it's going to be basically a floating tree in the middle of the void. And I'm super excited for this floating tree 1.8 serve for survival. I'm super excited for this. This is going to be very, very fun. I love challenging maps. It's easy to create, just... Just, uh... Customize the super flat. Uh, let me make that to air. That's gonna be zero, zero. Oh, no, it's supposed to be, yeah, like that. Uh, so now we're gonna spawn with an empty world. Allow it cheats on. It seems that everything's going well. I am so excited for this new world. And oh my god, what the hell is that? Why? did an empty village just suddenly spawn here i really did not plan this now this looks like a really cool map so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna save it and rename it save and quit to title so i'm just gonna rename the map and to floating villages crazy i'm going to have to use that as a uh let's see rename uh, yeah, 1.8. Uh, so I'm going to actually have to use that as maybe another Let's Play. But for now, I'm going to create another new world, which is going to be our floating... My typing is horrible. Floating tree survival. Uh, it's I have to spawn in creative so I can spawn the block. Cheats on, super flat, remove, 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 presets. I don't know why a village spawned, I think that was a glitch, because uh, as you can see there's no village right here. So I'm just gonna use the preset, done, create the new world, wait for it to load up, it's amazingly fast. So why why do the villages like keep on spawning, like what, what do I have to do to... Oh yeah, I forgot to do something guys, I definitely forgot to do something. I need to turn the villages off. So let's rename that to um, Floating Village 2, 1.8. And then I'm going to create a new world, which is going to be the Floating Tree Survival 1.8. And what I forgot to do is I haven't been playing Minecraft for such a long time that I forgot to turn generating structures to off. So yeah, let's customize this, take out all the presets, put inside zero, zero. I actually thought that if village was not inside the preset right here, that villages wouldn't spawn, but apparently I was wrong. So looks like, oh yes, uh, cheats on. Um, oh, I just canceled that, yeah. Survival, floating, tree survival. Then uh, we have to go into creative 1.8 because I have to spawn in the block. Cheats on, structures off, super flat, remove, 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 zero, 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 zero. To spawn in an empty void world. And it looks like we're good to go. Sorry for that long wait, guys. Uh, I hopefully will put up a link to the part where I actually start the Let's Play. So I'm going to go to Y64 because that's sea level, and we're about to reach it a bit lower. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're good. Um, so then I'm going to type in some commands. So it's going to be slash set block wave space wave space wave space Minecraft stone. And there we go, guys. We have a stone block. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some grass. Uh, no, not coarse dirt. Uh, we're going to take some regular dirt. Throw that coarse dirt out of there. And we're going to place one dirt right here. And one grass right here. Throw both of these out. Get some saplings get some bone meal 
spam that on there and there we go guys this is going to be our survival world and as crazy as it seems I am very excited for this world um this will be very very fun and both at the same time challenging so I think I'm gonna cut filming now and return a bit later hello and welcome back guys and we have now seen to spawn although I'm just going to go into game mode zero so now we have just spawned on this desolate tree in a desolate world the first thing we have to do is to collect some saplings and the wood oh looks like I got a sapling yeah it looks like there is some blocks underneath to cushion our fall uh, hopefully we won't fall down collect all that oh goody we have two saplings now start chopping down the tree a bit collect that get the stupid achievement that everybody knows how to do chopping down the tree chopping Chopping down some more of these things right over here. Maybe we can go for a third sapling. Uh, no, no. Oh, yeah, got that, got that. We have three now. Yep. Let's see, there are two more blocks over here. Um, so in this map right here, I have a lot of... I, ha I want to do a lot of things. Hmm, so let's see how much... I think we should just turn all of the wood into oak planks. Yeah, that way it's going to be better. So, let's expand the island just a bit. Uh, so guys, this is going to be an extremely difficult survival map. If you think Skyblock is hard, this is a completely different thing. There's not even a cobblestone generator in this map. That's how... Like, there's no water on the whole map. And that's why we can't get a cobblestone generator, which means that all of our mob grinders will have to be dry, which means very inefficient. Uh, so guys, looks like I got a crafting table going. Um, the first thing I have to do is replant one sapling. And so basically we only have two dirt for the whole map. And I will have this one piece of uh, grass for bone mealing it when I need seeds. And using the oak wood planks, I plan on making, um, grow, just growing the tree and making more planks. And I plan on using the planks to make our island bigger and eventually build a mob grinder. So that way we could have mob spawns and bone meal and all that good stuff. But unfortunately, guys, why we can't do anything more right now than just simply to wait so what I'll have to do is now I'll just go um, off camera and just stand like right here and wait for the tree to grow it seems like a funny tactic but really I don't have anything other to do than to just wait for the tree to grow since I don't have bone meal so see you then guys I'll um, start filming again when it grows it seems like it's not growing anytime soon um, yep, yeah, so see you in a while. And oh my god, what has just happened? The tree just somehow grew. I was about to like... I was about to um, stop filming, but I did not stop filming, and that was good. We are very, very lucky, guys. Already got a tree grown in like a few seconds there. I, don't, I didn't use any bone meal. I don't know what happened. It's like it grew so fast. I did not even have to turn off the camera in order to wait for it to grow. So basically guys, we have quite a lot of challenges here. Now this is not a downloaded map because as you saw back there, and oh, the platform saved us some saplings. So as you can see guys, the plat um, as you just earlier saw, this is not a downloaded map. It's a map uh, that I created myself. So, there aren't really formal challenges like in Skyblock, but I will still put some challenges out there for myself just so it would be fun to play. The first
first challenge that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to expand the island and I'm also trying to build a mob grinder and that is the first thing that I can do. I don't think I should get a chest. Um, maybe I should get a chest when I will start building my mob grinder and if I have enough wood I'll make a chest so I can store all of my precious materials such as saplings inside a chest. But for now I don't really have anything else to do except wait. So I'd like to discuss some of the challenges that I'd like to complete in this map. Um, first off, like I said, I want to build a mob grinder. And this map is super hard. Uh, because there is completely no stone, no cobblestone on the whole map. We'll have to do everything with wooden tools. Which is very bad. I'm thinking, should I make an axe or... Uh, no, it'd be just easier to wait because it's pretty easy to chop wood down just by hands. So what I want to do is, um, since there's no like, since there's no cobblestone in the whole map, that also means no furnaces because everybody knows that furnaces are crafted from cobblestone, and thus this creates even larger problems because no cobblestone equals no furnace equals no torch. Uh, no coal equals no torches, so we are completely left without any lighting whatsoever on the island until I get some glowstone. Now, some of you may be familiar with the fact that um, you can actually collect glowstone from witches when witches, um, hopefully my mob grinder will work out pretty well and I will AFK on it for a very long time and then eventually I will try to get a lot of spawns of witches on there and let me check what difficulty yeah I'm in normal difficulty that's good um, so the witches will basically spawn they will drop down and one of the um, loot so, so one of the loot um, one of the varieties one of the things that um, uh, one of the things that witches drop when they die is glowstone dust. And as everybody knows, I can craft in glowstone. Uh, I can craft glowstone blocks just by placing one, two, three, four glowstone. So basically, our whole map, our whole, um, this whole map, including uh, this whole island, will be lit through glowstone. But that's later when I will get, when I will, um get some witch drops. Another thing is that since we don't have any water, many of you are familiar with my last ep with my uh, prior let's play that I used to have. I have a let's play of um, of Skyblock and in there when I build a mob grinder I put in water buckets inside so it flowed down the zombies and all the other mobs down into the center of the uh, grinder and that is very efficient. Now unfortunately I um, in this map since we don't have any water available we will have to use a dry mob grinder and a dry mob grinder means that the, um, the spawn rates will completely be crappy. We won't get barely anything dropping down from the grinder making this map even so harder. So I have done some research and the grinder actually does work without water. It's simply much more inefficient. But since we have no other choice in this map, we will have to bear with it. Um, a thing that I thought is I could pile up the mob grinder so I could add several layers into uh, on the top of the mob grinder. So even with a dry um, construction, it will still yield some reasonable mob drops. And oh my god, does the sunset look great on Skyblock. Of all the maps on Minecraft, Skyblock, Sunset, and Sunrise are definitely the most beautiful. There's a time of twilight where you can see both the sun and the moon. And look, the moon is almost a fourth, um, a fourth of a way up, and I can still see the glow from the sun. It's an amazing thing. For some reason, my tree is still not growing. I don't know what's up with it. It's just simply not growing. Uh, so, I thought that for now, since we don't have any lighting, I will ha what I will have to do is I will have to have a very, very small platform. I won't expand the platform. I'll probably build the mob grinder just right here. And actually, I think I'm going to build the outline of it right now. So, um, I think I should add a bit blocks right here. Just for safety. And I hope I don't run out of these planks right here, or that's gonna suck. This map 
I really have high hopes for it. I hope it's going to be fun. I, oh, that's not going to work out. I don't want it to be too close to my tree, so then it would, uh, would, like, interfere with the trees growing. But at the same time, I don't want to make the platform big enough for mobs to spawn. So maybe I'll do it. Yep, yep. Yeah, so right here's going to be my mob grinder. You know, just one block space. Uh, that is too little. I'm going to have to increase the space from that. Um, so, guys, um, I wonder how do you like my commentary? I sometimes try to make my commentary better on my videos. Because sometimes I think that I say, like stuff too much like I say um too much or sometimes um, but I think yeah I, ju I just said it again so I think that my commentary is fairly good maybe compared to other youtubers I'm not that good but I think that my commentary isn't that bad so what I will have to do is probably you know that if I look at the island right now no mobs will spawn on it so as long as the platform is small enough that I can have it in my view, I can just turn around and then turn back on and then mobs will spawn. So what I'll have to do is every time it's night, I'll have to look at the island to make sure that no mobs spawn because they don't spawn when you're looking at them. They spawn when you look away. And now I'm not going to look away because they might spawn. Uh, until we get glowstone, of course, I can't look away, but to get close to them, I need to make a mob grinder and that is exactly what I'm trying to do right now and it seems that my tree is not growing because apparently it is just too dark for it to grow because it needs light and I can't put any torches around it because I don't have a furnace or glowstone so for the time being I'll have to wait out this time it's going to be boring but it will all pay off soon this map is super super fun i have a lot of uh, expectations for it it's going to be great guys it's going to be a blast this map is simply amazing uh, i came up with it myself or i don't remember maybe somebody posted it on the forums minecraft forums or i think i might have came up with it by myself but nevertheless it's an amazing map uh, yeah, also guys, some of you may ask, like, why don't I plant a sapling inside this block right here? Uh, the, the reason is, is because I need one grass, so when I bone meal the grass, I'm gonna get seeds and flowers. So I'll have to use this one piece of dirt for, uh, tree growing, and this one piece of dirt for, uh, for, like, farming and, uh, no, no, not farming. This will be used for getting seeds and flowers and dyes and all that. So yeah, it looks like it's, uh, yeah, I, yeah, we've passed midnight now, so it's going to be day pretty soon, but I don't want you, I don't want you guys to get bored out, so I think I'll just stop filming now, right after I place the block right here, because I don't like that it looks, is unsymmetrical. So I'll just continue filming when the tree grows. See you uh, in a while. Hello guys, and welcome back, and it's finally daytime. The sun rises, and the monsters disappear. Well, they don't really disappear. Zombies burn up. Creepers despawn. Endermen despawn. Well, teleport. And, uh, zombies and creepers... Uh, no, zombies and, uh, skeletons burn up. And witches just go about their daily routine. Yeah, I don't actually know where witches go. Yeah, and also spiders... They just stay, despawn, just like creepers do. It's amazing how I'm kind of standing on the edge of the platform, I'm on the edge of the block, and I'm still somehow able to stand on it. It's always made me kind of wonder, how am I, like, how am I standing on the block? Looks like my body's not on the block. It's just, uh, yeah, my skin's weird, it's just, uh, it's just the Russian flag. I don't really bother to change my skin up very often because I, d I don't really care exactly. I like the original Steve skin much better. I really wish they hadn't changed the default skin in 1.8. And I don't know how this is, but for some reason there's gl grass growing underneath the sapling. I guess that's possible, but when the sapling grows up, then what's going to happen is the wood block is going to kill the grass underneath it. I don't know why it hasn't, like, grew yet, but I'm growing, 
I don't know why the tree hasn't grown yet, but I'm getting very impatient because I want to build my mob grinder. Uh, let me see. So it's going to be something like this. Uh, right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here, yeah. And I just need one, two, three, four, five, six more to make the base. And the sapling does not look like it wants to grow. Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe I'm gonna cut filming again if it doesn't grow soon. So, see you guys in a while. I'm getting very bored now. This map is cool, but it uh, takes a lot of patience. Definitely takes a lot of patience. And yeah, I shouldn't run around because, as you can see, my hunger bar is starting to dimission, diminish now. So, see you guys in a bit when the tree grows. Oh my god, guys, it is still... It is um, the daytime past... The tree did not grow, and it's nighttime now. And it's about to become daytime again, but the tree has still not grown yet. I really seriously underestimated the difficulty of this project, but I still like the map. Um, I just have to get the mob grinder started, and then from there I will have bone meal, so no more waiting. This is going to be the only really waiting episode where I have to wait this much. But, yeah, it is taking way too long for this tree to grow. Way too long. But luckily, no mobs have spawned yet, so I'm just looking at the bright side here. So, see you when the tree actually grows. Hello, guys, and welcome back. It took me such a long time to grow this tree, but... It finally grew so as you can see under F3 menu it's where it says local difficulty it says day 4 so it took me three days three days to grow this tree and this is getting um, this is making me doubt a bit our completion of the mob grinder and it seems that it's going to take way too many blocks and too much time of growing trees so just to grow this one tree, I had to go, and I actually went to eat a snack and eat dinner, and then only when I came back was the tree already grown, and I would come back and check back after like every five minutes or so, and then only after about, like, I don't know, 40 or so minutes this tree grew, and that is way too much time. What I also did while I was waiting for the tree to grow is I did some calculations on how much... Oh yeah, and great, we got some more saplings, some more wood. So I actually did some calculations on how much space, no, how much uh, blocks it's going to take up to finish this mob grinder. And I estimate that it's somewhere around um, 18 stacks, so these two rows filled with wooden planks, all these 18 rows filled with 60 for each of oak wood planks. And that is going to take an extremely long time to make. So I also calculated since that a stack of logs makes four, four planks, that's going to take around um, seven stacks of logs. And so I thought that um, I don't I don't want to cheat through and um, spawn in the wood through the creative menu or bone meal because then it completely defeats the purpose of the game. Instead, what I thought is that I would grow all the trees in AFK off camera while I then and then after I get enough uh, after I get enough wood, then I will make the next episode in which we'll build the mob grinder because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see me AFKing and just chopping down trees for probably the next few hours or so. So thank you for watching the episode. More episodes will hopefully come out soon. This was Minecralix, and I'm out. See you all in the next video.